तस्वतो अर्हत संबुदस् नमो तस् भगवत अर्हत संबुदस् Please keep your right palm on your left and neck head straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture. And remember to keep your shoulders back and don't put your chin down. Now bring your pulley attention to your whole body and feel your whole body as one. And scan head to toes yourself three times, and say "Swapatveva" or oh, "Be well and happy." May I be well and happy three times. Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters, followed this path and achieved to wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge in this moment with this sitting. May my body become more comfortable. May my breath be more smooth. May no difficulties come to me. May all the success come to me. Also, think for a moment. This is the last moment we are spending in this very lifetime, and detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment. So there are two things you have to remember. One is unmovable posture. while you sitting you have to give your best for your posture don't be half yourself so this is the moment you perform your best version another one is mentally so that one physically you you perform the best your posture so the mentally bring your intentional desirable attention 100% if you able to maintain these two things like that way to the highest you will reach to the the result out of this meditation so from the beginning we going to relax our body little bit relax your head relax your forehead and your face muscles relax your teeth relax your tongue relax your mouth relax your throat and neck relax your shoulders arms elbow forearms palms fingers fingertips relax your back muscles and relax your spine relax your chest and relax your abdominal muscles
relax your lungs, relax your heart, relax your liver, relax your kidneys, relax your gallbladder and relax your pancreas. Relax your small intestine, your large intestine and relax your all abdominal organs. Relax your buttock, relax your tiny calf muscles, foot and toes. Relax your whole body muscles, tendons, ligaments, bone, bone, marrows, and whole skeleton. Bring your complete attention to your body. And observe the, the lower part of your body, your legs, your hip, and see what you can feel. Tightness, heaviness, heat, sensation with the cushion or the chair. Just observe and recognize. Don't try to change anything. Observe your lower back. Just recognize the sensation or the pain. Don't personalize what you feel. That feelings or the, that pain arise according to necessary conditions, things in this very moment. In case if you change the posture, that feelings going to disappear. Bring your attention to your shoulders and arms and recognize the sensation or the feelings or the pain. So bring your attention in front of your nose and your upper lip area. Deeply and gently breathe in, breathe out three times. And let your inhalation, exhalation happen itself. So don't try to inhale or exhale yourself. Allow it to happen naturally. If the thought arises, don't react to it, just let it be. Bring your fully attention to the sensation of inhalation, exhalation.
and recognize the th change of the inhalation and exhalation without any effort, any wish. Just itself, it's changing. And following that inhalation, exhalation, your entire body also moment by moment change. Just observe it a little bit. This body is not mine, this body belongs to nature. So separate me from you and observe the body as a part of the nature. See how it follow the inhalation, exhalation. When you recognize the, the impermanent, clearly the mind itself come out of the desire. Why? Because whatever the moment you reach, it's going to change. Whatever the things you achieve, it's going to change. Once the mind come out of the collective nature, your mind become free from the memory, then there is nothing to let go. Observe the inhalation, exhalation. Once the inhalation happens or exhalation happens, there is nothing related with the past or the future within that inhalation, exhalation in this very moment. What you experience is just a moment. That same dharma within this entire universe, which is it is just the moment. Once there is nothing to let go, there is no any resistance in your mind or in this world. There is nothing come against you. There is nothing to go against within yourself. Be harmony with the worldly nature. And there is nothing to resist. There is no anger or disappointment, unsatisfaction arising in you. That is where you reach to the real tranquility state or the calmness, joy, happiness. Within yourself. Bring your attention to your body.
experience here peace calmness balance tranquility state within yourself and have a thought to share your heart with all other living beings especially in this moment around this world there are a lot of people fighting with their own life they have the fear anxiety depression helplessness hopelessness and they fighting with this disease or the illness have a thought to yourself to share your heart with them may they come out of that fear may they come out of that struggle may they come out of that unhappiness may they come out of that depression or the anxiety may they have the same strength and the courage and the wisdom like you to go through this situation and find the calmness happiness the wisdom within themselves so with that thought let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of your heart and share it as a light in your compound with your husband wife children friends and family members brothers sisters around your neighbors your village your city your state your country around this world not only that as far as you can through galaxies other planets and stars reminding like this so mentally repeat after me may all living beings in this universe be well and happy may everyone be happy and safe and may their hearts be filled with joy may all living beings live in security and in peace being so are pray or strong tall or short big or small visible or not visible near or far away already born or yet to be born may all of them dwell in perfect tranquility let no one do harm to anyone let no one put the life of anyone in danger let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart visualize yourself send it as a light step by step forward to your back side to your left side to your right side downward and upward
to all six directions at once. Like the moon, the sun, spread the light. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of your heart. Without any condition, limitation, judgment, resistance. To entire this universe. Se sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So dear Dhamma friends, once upon a time, in the middle of a jungle, there were, there were a group of monkeys. And uh, these monkeys used to live next to a river. So in the other side of the river, there was a huge garden, mango garden, belonged to king. So these monkeys used to jump through a tree branch and go to the garden, mango garden, and eat mangoes. So the king was so angry about this. And every day tried to catch these monkeys, it didn't happen. So one day he put a trap and then he was waiting and all the monkeys came, same as usual, and he start to eat mangoes. And somehow after eating mangoes, this one of very weak, very lazy monkey got trapped into the uh, this trap and uh, all other monkeys ran away so there was a one huge monkey that, that he's the leader of the the group and he was trying to get him but he couldn't he was waiting waiting he didn't know what happened and so, at the same time, the king came and took that monkey that was inside the trap. And this weak and uh, lazy monkey start to tell to the king, why you catch me? Because there is uh, the, the big one. You should catch that one. And this, I am very weak. And I don't have that much uh, flesh to eat. So they, they, I will help to catch that big monkey, our leader. And he's so strong and you can, you can eat that. So the king was wondering about this statement and told, how are you going to do it? So the weak monkey told, so let me go. And then tomorrow I will bring everyone and then I will pretend like uh, I am in a trap. Then for sure I know my leader come and try to take me. And that time you can come and catch. So 
so king wanna see this how this monkey going to do and the, what the king did king let go this lazy monkey and the lazy monkey went away and uh, you know, start to 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 go with his friend again and the ne very next day like same all the monkeys came and start to eat mangoes and then without that day without any trap when the king came that all the monkeys got disturbed and ran away without any trap this lazy monkey as that uh, the he planned yesterday this lazy monkey start to pretend like he got uh, into a trap so then the the leader came and try to help for this monkey to jump over the branch and while that time the king came and catch the the leader and the leader was you know so calm and relaxed and leader helped to that weak monkey to let go and the king saw this and king was so amazed seeing the quality of this monkey and as a leader how this monkey helped for this weak monkey to go and sacrifice itself for the death so this is a long long time ago this story came and if you look at today you see the same kind of characters around around us and in this very difficult situation uh, you know and not you and me there are a lot of people and think about others and they sacrifice their life and they have no hopes regarding their family their friends or their loved ones and they know sometimes they going to die and even they know and every day they used to hug they used to shake hands and they used to share their life and sit together have dinner lunch you know go out but they know any more they cannot do it and especially these doctors nurses so like that and at the same time today i saw that news regarding the, the thai king the thailand king he went to germany and uh, that's why i want to remind this story he went to germany recently and he got this virus and he then he knew he got the virus and he didn't go back to thailand and from thai government try to take him because he's the king but he deny he told no i stay here and uh, i recover myself and then i'll come back because if i come i come with this virus that is not good and the last night he died in germany and see the the when you become a leader you think about others if he go to thailand and he had a lot of facilities he can stay way around his people but he thought if he go maybe somebody else get this virus he didn't go he stay in germany in a hotel and he died there so think about that when, you, when we we like to become leaders you know we like to lead things you know we like to become the top we we like to be in the highest we all wish for that but if you don't develop a quality inside you you know even you reach to higher place you're not going to be there you're going to come back and you even you have no idea how you're going to fall down so that's why always remember and as in a family in a family in a society in a place you know if you are a leader you are a person that you can do something and you can change others you have that power so how you can do it it is not by thinking it is not by commanding you know it's not by asking things no it is when the opportunity come without any condition without any limitation learn to perform your best 
bring the best version of you when you wash your cuff and do the best version of you then everyone knows if you wash the cup and how it going to come when you wash your plate remember do your best and bring your best version and then everyone knows that how it going to be if you wash a plate and the same thing when you wake up early in the morning it is your place you know it is your bed it is your room you know it is your house what is the best version of you you know when someone suddenly come nowadays no one come and because of that uh, sometimes most of places is like a mess you know a lot of people call me and say well, oh venerable you know i am having depression here because other people you know make it so dirty dirty and like that you no know, that that's why i want to remind you no know, remember you have responsibility don't have a, just a dream to become better if you don't perform yourself better so how when in this very moment so whatever you do get your best version and also always remember when you become physically weak and when you become physically lazy the other moral i want i other uh, important message i want to mention when you become weak when you become lazy naturally greed hatred anger start to arise ignorance start to arise so don't be lazy so that's why that lazy monkey start to become cunning so when you become lazy those are the qualities going to come to you but when you become a strong physically mentally when you become a strong so naturally the other qualities going to come sacrifice generosity you no know, loving kindness sharing so this kind of things and so try to yourself understand and develop your qualities within you and then be a leader to yourself be a master to yourself not for others you no know? so that way you build up a good quality and naturally it, it when the time come you can share it with others so that is the lesson for today yourself so think about it again and again and when the opportunity come for you you know don't think twice and do your best and always so today the the bottom line of the lesson perform your best version physically mentally spiritually and socially okay so with that uh, i going to end our session and i hope that most of you uh, received uh, our uh, new schedule so within few days we going to start that and uh, saturday sunday we going to have a dhamma school and all our children and can join with us and uh, then uh, in the during uh, other time we going to do yoga and also we have uh, our karate students and we going to do a karate class for them also so we have some technical issues at the moment and uh, within few days we hope next week we going to start our dhamma school okay i can see some children okay janu uh, so we going to we going to start our dhamma school from next week huh? so and i wish upon everyone ah thank you dear ha uh, archana uh, so we wish upon everyone okay so please uh, stay healthy and stay safe yourself and uh, may all of you be well happy to come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patient courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life All your guardian angels will receive this merit and increase their longevity and protect you from many things that rain to us. Please put it back on.
ಸಬ್ಬೀತಿಯೋವಜ್ಜಂತು ಸಬ್ಬರೋಗೋ ವಿನಸತು ಮಾತೆ ಭವತ್ವಂತರಾಯೋ ಸುಖೀ ಗಾಯುಕೋಭವಿ ಸಂಪದೂತ ಸಬ್ಬೆ ಸತ್ತ ಅನುಮೋದಂತು ಸಬ್ಬ ಸಂಪತ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಿಯ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು